Okay, so what we learned about the sampling distribution last time is that it's normal, it's symmetrical, the center of the distribution is always equal to the population parameter, and the distance, or the spread, is measured by the standard error. Now, sampling distribution is based on this idea that if we take an infinite number of samples and then calculated the mean and plotted all those means, this is what we would end up with. So that means if it's an infinite number of samples, then we also have an infinite number of sample means. Therefore, all the possible sample means are in there. Now this is a fact I want you to keep in mind. Again, if it's based on an infinite number of samples, then we've calculated an infinite number of sample means. And it means all the possible sample means are in there. Every single possible sample mean. So if I take a sample, my sample mean has to be in there somewhere. Where? I don't know exactly. What I do know is that 68% of all the possible sample means are within a particular distance of the center. Empirical rule tells us it's exactly one standard error of the center. And therefore, I also know that if I go two standard errors away from the center, it'd be 95% of all the sample means are between those two points. So what this means is that when I take a sample, any sample, as long as it's random, there is a 95% chance that my sample mean is going to be within a certain distance of the true population mean. It's going to be in there somewhere. Now, the way that we measure distance in a sampling distribution is with the standard error. Now keep in mind, we, we never know what the true population parameter is. We take samples so that we can estimate what the population parameter is. Obviously, if we knew what the true mean was, we wouldn't need to take a sample. Now what we never ever do is simply take sample data and say, hey, that's what's in the population. If it's true for the sample, it's true for the population. That would be really naive. So when we do estimation, we don't just come up with a value, but we come up with a probability statement that our estimate is correct. By going through the sampling distribution, we're going to be able to create what we call a confidence interval. Boy, I write slow. Now with a confidence interval, confidence reflects probability and our estimate is actually going to be a range of values in which we believe the true parameter falls. So estimation isn't simply just, hey, the sample mean equals the population mean. It means here's our estimate, and here's a probability statement that our estimate is actually correct.